bit of a different video um, today just because I was about to create something and realized I might as well film it for all of you. I was in the process of setting up a routine that I could possibly stick to daily and weekly. It's been very very hard to stick to any kind of routine which is basically one of the reasons why I initially set up a habit tracker which is back here. Uh, this is my brain dump. Um, B6 Stalogy. Um, this is just a Moterm cover. Uh, these sticker tabs are from Planner Press, but this has been really, really helping. It's newer to my setup this year, and I already love it. So I wanted to show you how I kind of arrived at what I was about to create. So we know I have a habit tracker. I have a few videos I can link up here. Uh, about how that's set up and how I use it. And I did something for February that I don't normally do. And aside from the fact that it's not the most aesthetically pleasing, which is ironic, but anyway, um, I figured I would just reprint it and fill it out so it looks a little bit nicer. I don't know how many of you were with me in terms of like rewriting things just so it looks better. Um, so what I did is I tried to set targets for myself. So that was the tan highlight. I didn't do that in January. I just kind of, as, as time passed, I um, just filled it in. So I basically realized what I needed to focus more on and be more routine about and I filled out the days so I could at least, when I go to track my habits that day, know that, all right, this is a this is kind of a, the routine I wanna get into now. Um, just see how it's working. And I did that for a couple of different areas. Cleaning is one of them. Um, the type of routine I'd like to get into. So what I planned to do was use these inserts. Um, and this is going to be what I work on and then come back and show you what I set up. I plan to come up with like a target goal, like a main focus outside of work for that day. And then like some default goals that if I don't get that big one, what is like my second priority, third, fourth, fifth for the day. So it's really a prioritization list. Um, so I'm gonna fill that out. And then I'm gonna take, these are all Peanuts Planner Co inserts by the way. And then I'm gonna take that list and transpose it here. So like bigger goal and then the smaller ones that I can like default to if that doesn't work. And then maybe this little itty bitty box is what is the cleaning focus for that day or something else. We'll see what I come up with there. And then, um, so there, I started to think through this, which I will get, if I open this it up, like the areas, um, Jim Bowflex YouTube, uh, inserts, LinkedIn, self-care, budgeting, career, future, stuff like that. So those are all part of the goals that I track daily, but I want to be able to get into a better routine. So for example, if I write down career is one, I'm also going to use this task management setup. If I say career, what are some of the career tasks? If I say organize, what are the organizational tasks? And then I can put a date up here and edit it as time goes on, which I like. I like having a record of, at the time, what were my goals at the time, um, you know, so this is a week. So I'll put the date I created it, and then as things tweak or if there's a major overhaul, I'll redo it um, and rewrite it on the back. I'm also, again, in the last video, I used these, I showed how I use these page flags. So I'll mark them all down and then write with a Sharpie, but then I can reorder them if I'm finding that this routine doesn't work well for Sunday, but on Wednesday is perfect or whatever that is. I just like having the flexibility and not being uh, non-committal in terms of what are my goals for that day. So I'm gonna use that task management to help break down 
the goals, um, probably reference my goals planner, um, also linked, I'll reference the goals, I'll reference my habits, and then this is going to be like an ideal day, depending on the day. So also Penance Planner Co. So maybe it'll be a schedule and then main tasks and then any other notes. Um, maybe this is like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday layout. Maybe that's, you know, Tuesday, Thursday, and then it's weekend. And then maybe this is the schedule if like I have a really, if I, there, ha there are a lot of appointments or an appointment outside of um, the day or during working hours, what does that day look like? So. I'm going to play around with this a little bit, and I feel like, I don't know, knock on wood, but like things are maybe settling down a little bit such that I can focus on this and I can start to build out um, a routine section. So this is the routines section in my habit tracker, but it's basically just been, what do I do? Um, weekday, morning, evening, um, what are 10 minute tasks I can do, weekend, what are some self-care things. So it's more like lists or reference, but I just wanna come up with something that's a little bit more structured for me to follow. So I'm going to take this away and put something together and I'll be back to show you some of that finished product. So sit tight. Okay, so we're back, and um, I'm going to show the finished product. It ended up being a little different than anticipated. I played around with it a bit, and visually, I don't know, it just, something was not syncing up. So I'll show you what I did. Here, I'll take these out. <laughs> and I have such a hard time closing these rings sometimes, but that's fine. We're just going to let it be. Um, so I did an overview of the week and then I focused on the day or the days that were similar and I did that by this layout. So this is again another Peanuts Planner Co. layout and I tried to figure out what my main goals were for the day but then also what was realistic. So for example, Mondays are, um, I don't know if we all know how Mondays are sometimes, but depending on what the weekend is, what the weekend is like, if there's a lot going on, you know, I don't, I might not get up and out early, I might. So I'll say that my primary goal is going to the gym in the morning on a Monday. If I don't get to the gym, I'll at least do a bow flex. And then my primary goal in the evening, uh, part of the routine, is maybe a LinkedIn article. And if I don't get to an article, then a post. And also, on Monday, I want to make an Instagram post. And these are categories down here that will make sense in a minute. But then on Tuesday, Tuesday and Wednesday are very, very busy work days. So getting to the gym might not happen because the day starts early. I don't like getting back right before the work starts, so I might get up early, do the Bowflex, listen to my audiobook, and then the evenings of Tuesday and Wednesday, I either try to relax and do some self-care on Tuesday, or date night is our, um, <laughs> Wednesday is our date night. So these are long work days. Again, um, on Wednesday, I'll try to maybe record a YouTube video on the weekend and post on a Wednesday. And then Thursday, Friday, also kind of similar. So I'll try to get back to the gym on Thursday. Um, that evening, I'll work on some future goals. Now that's where you see like self-care, future goals, career are kind of, I don't know, nebulous, <laughs> like big black holes of uh, what I could be working on. So I put some categories down here of things I can focus on um, that kind of fit into those PM um, goals or targets as part of that routine. Then Saturday and Sunday, Saturday and Sunday, I'll try to get to the gym also. Um, but if I don't make it to the gym, I'll try and do the boat flex again for 20 minutes. Today was not a day I made it to the gym. So I did do the boat flex today. I did uh, film YouTube. So if you're watching this, I did film it on Sunday. 
So that's a goal that I try to get to. Um, eventually I'll start working, getting back to my inserts. I was having some kind of weird thing with PDF on my desktop, but now I can start to try and work on that again. And that's it, Saturday I try to clean. So that's at least, I like seeing an overall view of the week. Um, and this is just trial and error from my habit tracker that um, I can see what do I, what is possible during the week and what might not be. So here's a sleep tracker. And then here I'm tracking goals and I can see what happens, what doesn't, what's easiest during the week, you know, what's not. And only after planning like this for a while could I even start to work on that setup for the week overview. And then I took another Peanuts Planner Co. layout and I made, I grouped the days. So Monday and Thursday are kind of similar in structure. They're more of a career focused because I'm either working on Lincoln Post articles or some future goals, I try to get into bed and read um, early because um, Monday goes into a very long Tuesday, but I might try to have some draft Instagram posts made so that I can get them done on that day. And then if I were to flip it, we see Tuesday, Wednesday. Again, it's so work-centric that sometimes doing other things are, is, is challenging um, outside of the day because you just want to kind of unwind. So try to bow flex and audible in the morning, make my coffee, um, drink that either before or while I'm on the bow flex. Um, no shame there. <laughs> and then Tuesday self-care, Wednesday our date night. Um, try to make sure that something is posting on Wednesday. And then, um, so that's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then here on Friday, um, with payday being every other week, most Friday mornings I do the Bowflex early and then I I have, I should link it, um, but in my bio of YouTube, I have a link to Etsy and I have my finance tracker that I use um, that works really, really well for me. It's an Excel spreadsheet, but um, I have it available for download if you wanna use it. Um, so everything is planned out for that month and the month ahead and the whole year. And if I spend something in February, I know how it's going to impact my savings in December. So I know that might sound a little bit much to some of you. Others might be like, oh my God, I want it. So. It's there if you want it. Um, so I'll work on bill pay and finances, and then Friday night, by the time Friday night rolls around, I just wanna watch a movie and chill out um, or do some like relaxing work, as we like to call it, on Friday night. I'll get my Instagram post in, gym or Bowflex still. Um, so Friday's more of a self-care focus. And then Saturday and Sunday are similar in that we try to wake up, uh, do the gym or coffee uh, and bow flex in the morning, run errands, cleaning, work on goals, um, read in bed, sleep in, work out, clean laundry, work on the Petunia Rose. Um, and, you know, we all would ideally love for the weekend to be restorative. Sometimes it's not, but that is a goal. So this is an ideal routine. I'm sure these will tweak over time. This is the first time I've able to really kind of focus on a routine because again, things tend to feel like fly by the seat of your pants sometimes. Um, but that's that. So I'll put that in my routine section of the habit tracker. In the routine section, I had um, what, I, what I did start with and what, it's funny to look back because when habits were such a goal for me, it was totally new um, to what did I even want to work on and what did I want to become a habit. Um, this is from Planner Press, by the way. I love this stuff. Um, so this is AM and PM weekday stuff, but really that wasn't so much a routine as it was just habits daily. So again, these are like 
the week overview and the day kind of routine. So I might do LinkedIn articles only on Monday. So that's not really a daily habit. So it doesn't really go in the habit tracker as much, but we'll see. We'll see what it turns out to be. Um, so I'll throw these in here as I tweak it or as the system changes, I'm sure I will film it and show you. Um, but this will just go in here. It'll be easy to reference, you know, for the day when I'm tracking habits. Um, if I want a reminder of what my goals are for the day. Again, I, I built it because it seems to be the natural best fit pattern for me. And um, I recommend, highly, highly recommend tracking in your, in a habit tracker if you have one to know what would just make sense for you because you don't want to also set something else that isn't realistic and then before the week even starts you set yourself up for failure like I you know we don't want to we don't want to do that <laughs> try to avoid it if we can but um that is the habit tracker routine system and it all started by kind of brain dumping what I wanted to do um, in my v6 analogy right so it's really priority management where to try and set it up, highly recommend it if you say, okay, my top three goals are one, two, three, but also write in some flexibility that if you don't make A, B, and C and you still make D, E, F, you're still successful. So the key to building consistent habits and reaching goals is to be easy with yourself, give yourself grace. Things aren't always perfect and sometimes, you know, washing your face and brushing your teeth is a win and that's enough of a goal for the day so you know yourself um, go easy on yourself if you have any questions I'd be happy to help uh, in the in the comments below just leave them for me and I'll get back to you but other than that I certainly appreciate you tuning in to watch this everyone's time is very valuable so thank you for sharing that me with me if you thought this was helpful go ahead and click the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and share it with someone that you may know that's maybe struggling with time management or priority management. I know it's, it's tough for um, folks to do sometimes when, you know, it seems like so many other things come first, but remember to put yourself first. Uh, that's okay. It's perfectly acceptable to do. So uh, there's my public service announcement for the evening. And again, Thanks for watching and have a great week ahead.